Welcome to another tips and tutorial segment of the All About Analysis YouTube channel. We received a question a while ago asking, is there a way to resize multiple different size images in i2 Analyst Notebook at the same time instead of doing it manually or individually? Let's go ahead and get started. We'll start with this sample link chart. Before I begin, let me finish replacing the entity icons with mugshot images in my files. I'm going to go ahead and drag my images from my mugshot folder directly on top of the icons I want to replace. Note that the images are not the same size. Now you can individually select each image and then size them accordingly by dragging the handles at the corners. But instead, I'm going to show you how you can select all the images simultaneously and then set the picture size for all the selected images. Let's go to the select ribbon and click the semantic type and then click the person's type to select the person entities. Notice that they're all selected now. There are two ways of resizing these simultaneously. You can go to the style ribbon and then click the set picture tool. The first method I'm going to show you is the custom slider. We can move the slider to the right to increase the size. The second method is using enlargement. We're going to select enlargement and click the drop down. Let's select quadruple. Now that might be a little too big for my liking. Let's go ahead and change it to double the size. That's more like it. You can make the necessary adjustments until you find a suitable image size for your chart. In addition, let me show you how you can quickly align your icons. This method might save you some time rather than eyeballing it manually. Let's select these three icons and align them horizontally in the Arrange ribbon. Now let's do the same with these two icons at the bottom. Let's select these two and align them vertically. And likewise with these two, align vertically. Let's just fix this one. And this one. Actually, let's just select these and align them vertically. Done. I hope you find this useful. Thanks for checking out this episode from the All About Analysis channel. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like, hit subscribe, click that bell, and don't forget to share this video. See you next time.